بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر فرینڈز ان دا لاسٹ ویڈیوز وی ہیو لرن دا پروسیجر فار میکنگ سولر اسٹرکچر لے آؤٹ اینڈ ایلیویشن ان آٹو کیڈ سافٹ ویئر اینڈ دین وی ہیو لرن ہاؤ ٹو پریپیئر انیشیل اسٹرکچرل ماڈل آف دا سولر ایرے ان مائرس جین سافٹ ویئر ناؤ پروسیڈنگ ٹوورڈز دا کیلکولیشنز آف لوڈز دیٹ ول بی سبجیکٹیڈ ٹو آر اسٹرکچر فار اٹس ڈیزائن Before getting started, if you are new to our channel, then please hit like and subscribe button and share as well with your friends. And let's learn structural engineering together. One more thing, we have already started design courses related to reinforced concrete structures and steel structures along with the steel connection design. If you did not watch those videos, then please go and watch those. Links of these videos I am sharing in the description below. So let's get started. Let's open the solar panel brochure as we are having the total weight of the panel as 24.5 kg from the brochure. 24.5 kg there are 15 panels in total so there are total there is total 367.5 kg or 3.6 kN weight and it is divided as the load points as joints per panel 4 total panels 15 loads for exterior joint is this and loads for interior joint is this now coming towards the wind loads so just specifying the wind speed let's say it's 175 kph wind speed exposure category is c topographic category 1 and structural classification 2 now importance factor is 1 there is no need for importance factor in this code that's okay now the gust effect factor is taken as 0.85 now the mean height of the solar panel it's important thing so go to the cad file and just go to the midpoint of the purlin to the finished ground level It is actually 3667 means 3.667 3.667 is the mean height of the solar panel okay all the formulations of the code is here now solar panel arrangement so panel dimension in the direction of slope the panel dimension in the direction of slope means that the slope we we know that the slope is in this direction so the real panel dimension in this direction is 1052 and the other one is 2112 So one zero five two two double one two rows parallel to slope means parallel to slope. How much rows? One, two, and three. And the rows in the other direction. One, two, three, four, five means columns. Three by five. So verifying the length across the slope is ten thousand five sixty mm. All right, and uh, this much length is this, but it is a projected one. So two eight five nine. So let's just this projected to real two eight five nine angle twenty five. So three double one five. So three double one, three one double five. So three one five six approximately same. Now point five L. What does it means? So let's go to the code. The AISC specifications. So this is our purlin. This much length means from this point to this point. is total l so we can see that half of the region gets windward and half gets leeward 
प्रेशर बिकॉज विनवर्ड लीवर्ड प्रेशर आर डिफरेंट इन द विंड डायरेक्शन ऑफ जीरो डिग्रीज एंड वन विन डायरेक्शन इज वन एटी डिग्रीज इट रिवर्स द डायरेक्शन इट रिवर्स द सर्फेस ऑफ विनवर्ड एंड लीवर्ड नाउ पॉइंट फाइव एल पॉइंट फाइव एल मीन्स दिस पर्टिकुलर लेंथ आई प्रोजेक्टेड वन or the inclined one it depends on how the uh, load is being applied because the load wind load is being applied in the real dimensions so the real length l and divided by 2 means 0.5 l and 0.5 l so 0.5 l is of this dimension length along the slope means this dimension in the real real dimension for example this one now number of minus panels some designer wants to have some vacant spaces in the solar array for the wind to pass through easily it is it is just because that if the minus panels are more then there will be less forces on the, applied on the structure because the wind pass through the the vacant spaces for number of panels for number of minus panels as zero means the wind force calculation means that the wind force is being calculated by the total gross affected area of the 15 solar panels and applied on the whole structure but if i plugged in one it means that now the wind force is calculated for 14 panels gross affected area and applied on the total structure it is the easiest way to uh, incorporate the vacant spaces in, in in the calculation why because uh, if we apply the if we calculated the wind force for the 14 panels for example and apply and the these forces on the location where the panels is actually there and do not apply the forces where the vacant spaces is here then it is very much difficult so the concept of the reduction factor is here so we have calculated the total area total cross area of the 15 panels and we have calculated the reduced area and then we have calculated the reduction factor and just apply it with the total this reduction factor is being uh, multiplied by the total pressure to get the effect okay so this much factor uh, so this much amount of percentage is being reduced by the total pressure okay now the wind load on solar panels has been calculated using asc 716 mono slope free roof the net pressure coefficient of the wind direction 0 and 180 degrees are used the slope of the panels is 25 degrees so for the slope let's just go to the wind coefficients this is a sheet so let's say we are having the slope of 25 degrees and it is in the list 25 is in between 22.5 and 30 so we have to plug in 22.5 and 30 here and our desired theta is 25 degrees all the interpolation is being carried out by the sheet automatically because the code allows to interpolate for the for your required theta if it is if it is not in the table okay solar panel force case a 0 remember we have discussed the concept for the load cases and the load directions so there are mainly two directions gamma is equals to 0 and gamma is equals to 180 degrees for both the directions we have to incorporate both the cases load case a and load case b for the time being we are considering the clear wind flow because we know that our, there is no restriction under the solar structure now these net coefficients are being calculated are being picked up from this wind coefficient sheet for the windward and the leeward and for the load case a there are load direction 0 and correspondingly all the coefficients are being picked up from this tab now pressure for load case a in the windward direction p a w is being calculated as c n w times gust effect factor g times q h q h is being calculated here so just plugged in the formula so the pressure is calculated in kpa 
for uh, similarly for leeward for load case a zero direction in the windward this pressure p a w times width w times 0.5 l this pressure times this length across the slope is completely the width means this width complete and it is in millimeters so divide by thousand by the reduction factor one minus reduction factor times the 0.5 l similarly for the lever these forces have been distributed to the support nodes of the solar panel in the model so in the structural model likewise for load case b in the zero direction load case a in the 180 direction and load case b in the 180 direction all the forces have been calculated in the kilo newtons now how to distribute it per panel support points is four okay note that these calculations up till here is same for the portrait mode or the landscape mode but for the distribution point of view it will be different for both the cases for landscape mode because we are having the landscape orientation of the solar panels in the inner structure so this method is being followed per panel supports four total support points on the upper side 30 and total support points in the lower side is 30 as well how because this is the let's develop the center line so the upper region from this line the upper region is here from this line upper region lower region is there all the load points 1 2 3 4 and 1 2 3 4 similarly for all the upper regions there are 30 points how it is being calculated rows parallel to slope multiplied by rows in the other direction multiplied by number of panels divided by 2 okay similar formula for both the both the things because we have the symmetry solar panel force case a 0 degrees windward case internal because we are having the two types of nodes the external or the outer node and the internal nodes so the outer nodes having the lower pressure because it has the half tributary and the internal nodes are having the double tributary because we have discussed it that these two points are very much close to each other so we are considering it as one force windward force in the internal node is this much this force divided by the upper nodes multiplied by 2 and this is of for the single outer node or just divided by 2 and for the lever pick up the lever force and just divided by on the lower side and just multiplied by 2 and just divided by 2 so these forces are being calculated with respect to the internal and external nodes for both windward and lever faces so let's just make this kind of a list load case single loads because single loads means the outer nodes windward and leeward when or for all the load cases in both leeward and windward similarly just copy and paste multiplied by 2 so these are the double loads okay here the negative sign shows as we have already discussed it negative sign shows means the force is applying away from the surface and positive means towards the surface so that is end of the load calculation part inshallah in the next video we will learn how to apply these loads into our myers gen model so this is up for today see you in the next video